Assalamu alaikum, I am Kajal Muktadir Aji and uh, in this uh, tutorial I will show you a simple IJS tool that will uh, help your project. So I have uh, two uh, NDPI cluster for, for Brother Good Song Forest. Uh, one is for 2021 and one is for 2022. I have three class uh, declassified the raster uh, raster into two classes uh, the one is zero that is non forest and the, the forested area and i have uh, downloaded uh, the raster from um, a Argentine app that i have developed and i also i will also share you the code so when we uh, try to um, try to calculate the changes uh, we basically use the raster calculator tool and in raster calculator, we basically uh, just subtract previous raster from latest uh, raster to see the changes. So this is the output uh, of the raster calculator, and you can see I have uh, the raster calculator have give me um, uh, three classes. The one is minus one, zero, and one. So let's see what the uh, value actually means so minus one is basically when there is a there is a forest uh, in in 2021 but uh, sorry if, if there is no forest in 2022 but uh, in that pixel that where a forested area in, in uh, 2021 that will give us the number of minus one and that will be the uh, forest cover loss uh, for that pixel and we will uh, represented by minus one and when there is a forest in 2022 but there was no forest in 2021 that will give us a result of one and uh, that will be the forest cover forest gain and so that is represented by blue and uh, and there is two more conditions so, what if there was no forest default and uh, in 2021 and no forest in 2022 that will also give a result of zero and what if there was a forest be be before in 2021 and there was also a forest in 2022 that will also give us a result of zero and uh, so this is not uh, what we want, we want to see the stable part of non forest uh, of uh, absent forest area and the stable part of uh, present forest area. So, to calculate this, I have uh, created a tool in RGS uh, that, will in, uh, that will take input a binary classified map. You have to have a binary classified image that have a 0 and 1 plus. So zero means uh, in here zero is no forest and the one is uh, forest and uh, I will uh, input very uh, I will take the input variable as twenty two e as a before raster or you can say the reference uh, reference um, raster and I will give the after raster or latest raster as two thousand twenty two and I will uh, uh, I will save a path. Uh, I will uh, save it in a path in my local list. Uh, so, and I have already calculated this one, so I am not uh, creating it again. So after the uh, after you run the script, that will uh, create a file in your local list where you save the file. You have to uh, then drag and drop your uh, raster file into the art map. So what it will give us these uh, so i have uh, renamed uh, the classes so uh, first you will get this value like minus one zero one and two so minus one is loss zero is a stable that were absent so in, in this case for the is stable but the forest were absent in both present and future scenario and one is the stable that uh, that means the forest is present in both uh, Future and uh, present and uh, uh, past scenario, and the gain gain means there was no forest in before, but the uh, forest uh, was present in 2022. So let's see what this map looks like. I have not changed the color palette, and you can see the 
these two raster are totally different and uh, so uh, this is the this is a very important part for a research or in, uh, or your project so you can use this tool to see the change and uh, in a more appropriate way and i will uh, share the share the tool with you uh, as a, as a google drive link and uh, that was uh, all for it so thank you for watching my video and you can go to the itunes description to know more about this and the what is what are the before raster and the after raster and you can also check my linkedin profile okay so thank you for watching